Hello there, I'm Adam Short and I'm with Short Financial Group. I am a QuickBooks Online Advanced Certified Pro Advisor. And today I want to show you how to enter and process bills and bill payments in QuickBooks Online. First of all, this is our QBO test drive file and you can access this with or without a subscription for free by Googling QBO test drive. And then it will take you to this fake company file called Craig's Design and Landscape Services. Once we're here on the main screen, we will click vendors on the left sidebar and that will take us to all of our vendors. Now, there are multiple ways to begin the process of entering a bill in QuickBooks. I'm gonna show you the way from the vendors area and in this case, we're going to enter a bill for Cigna Healthcare. So from here, I can either, I can either click create bill on the right hand side, or I can go ahead and click Cigna Healthcare and it will bring up the details of the vendor up here, the name and typically the address, phone number, email. And then over here in the top right, we have a couple buttons and this is new transaction. And here we get a drop down of various options. I'm going to click bill and then we get a screen that pops up and the vendor's name is already populated. And this is of course, Cigna healthcare. Now what we want to do here is typically we will have received some kind of statement from the vendor or some kind of bill upon which we will use or which we will use to enter the uh, corresponding information in here on the bill screen. So let's say that the bill terms are net 30, meaning it's due in 30 days. The bill date is today, September 12th, and then it will be due October 12th. And then over here at the top right, we have a bill number. Highly recommend using this so you can track and keep track of all of the bills. If down the road you need to search for that bill, you can do so using the bill number. So let's say this is bill one, two, three. And then down here under account details, we have account, which this corresponds to the general ledger account that you would like to post this particular transaction to. Now, remember a bill is an accrual transaction that will post to accounts payable, but we have to pick a typically an expense account here to which the bill will uh, post. So let's say this is, well, this is Cigna Healthcare. So this is insurance. So I'm just going to click insurance and then description September health premium for the description. And let's say the amount is a hundred dollars and we're going to leave customer blank because it does not apply here. And I'm going to also include that same memo. And then down here in the attachments area, we can attach a bill. We can attach the image of that bill. Highly recommend doing that. And I'm going to click that box and it will bring up my files on my local hard drive that I can attach a bill. So I'm going to just click a file here. And this is not the actual bill, but I just want to show you that you can attach that file here. This is a PNG file. You can also attach JPEGs, PDFs, and uh, you can also attach Excel uh, spreadsheets. So now I've entered the bill. We have a hundred dollar bill from Cigna Healthcare due on October 12th. I'm going to click this arrow down on the bottom right of the page and I'm going to click save and close. And that transaction has been saved. And now under the Cigna healthcare vendor record, we have a bill that is populated here and is active and open. So up here at the top, right, we see that there's an open balance of a hundred dollars overdue zero. If today was October 12th, or rather actually if it were October 13th and we had not yet paid the bill, then this $100 here would appear in the overdue area. Now, 
I want to show you before we pay this bill, I want to go back to the vendor area. If you click vendors and you'll see up here, what's called the money bar. Uh, some people call this the money bar. Um, and we have different sections here. We have open bills is what I want to click. And there are other bills that are open, but we'll see here, Cigna healthcare, one open bill for a hundred dollars. So if you ever want to know at any given time what bills are open that need to be paid, you can always go in here and click that and it will give you a quick view of that, of the uh, open bills. So now how do we pay the bill? Now that we've entered the bill, I'm going to open that bill up again. And I want to show you the transaction journal. If you click more here at the bottom center of the screen, transaction journal will show you your debit and credit. You have, a credit of $100 to accounts payable and a debit to insurance expense account for $100. And that is what occurred in the background when you entered that bill. So if we want to go pay that bill, we have a number of options. If we want to pay one bill and no other bills, then I'm going to go back to our Cigna vendor record here. We have refresh. And we have the option here to make payment. So I'm going, to, I'm going to click make payment. And when that uh, screen pops up, we have a bill payment that shows up. And this is the actual transaction that represents the payment of the bill that's outstanding. So we have the payee field here, which is the vendor name, which of course in this case is Cigna Healthcare. And then here you want to pick the account that you're paying the bill from. In this case, we're going to use the MasterCard uh, credit card. And then over here will be a reference number. Now, sometimes you don't know the reference number until after you've actually paid the bill. So what I recommend is that you actually enter the bill payment in QBO after you've paid the bill itself, whether it be an online payment portal or a check you've written. Um, unless you're writing a check, we will, we will want to pay that um, at the same time we're entering it in QBO. But in this case, this is a MasterCard, so we're not writing a check. So I'm going to assume we've already paid this bill and that they've given us a re uh, reference number of XYZ. Payment date is today, September 12th. We paid $100. And then down here, we only have one, in, or I'm sorry, one. Um, bill that shows up that we can apply this payment to but sometimes you'll have multiple bills open from one vendor and you'll have multiple check boxes available so you want to make sure that you click the proper check box that corresponds to the bill that you would like to apply this payment to so in this case it's not that hard we have one bill and we have a hundred dollars that we're paying and again the memo down here oftentimes you'll want to include any additional detail, but what happens is QBO will automatically bring forward the, if there's an account number associated with this vendor that they provided you, that will show up in this memo. And again, uh, attachments, if you have a confirmation email or a confirmation document that was provided when you made the bill payment, recommend attaching that here. You can click this box and upload a file from your local drive or you can drag the file from your computer to this box either one will work and then i'm going to click this down arrow and then save and close and now you'll notice that the zero that there's a zero balance open because we pay the bill now we have a filter here set up that automatically happened when we came over here to the vendor area. I want to clear this filter because I want to show you what happened. Here's the bill that we entered one, two, three for a hundred dollars. And here's the bill payment for a hundred dollars. Now I'm going to open the bill payment again. And I would like to point out the transaction journal. And again, we credited the MasterCard account for $100 and we debited accounts payable for $100. So now if I were to look at a balance sheet, 
it would show that accounts payable is in fact cleared from the liability associated with that bill that we had originally entered. So that's a little bit about how to enter a bill and pay a bill in QBO. Hopefully that was informative for you. Please continue to check out our videos at shortfinancial.com. And until then, happy bookkeeping. Thank you.